Hey guys, Religio here. In this video, you're in for a treat because we're going to explore an amazing new feature from Figma and that is FigGem. Now, I'm really excited about this new feature because it allows you to brainstorm and collaborate with your other team members directly in Figma. And I believe it's going to be a very valid alternative to other more popular softwares such as Miro or Envision Freehand. But now without further ado, let's jump right into FigGem and let's see what it's all about. All right, so we're now in Figma and by the way you can use FigGem from both the Figma browser app as I'm using right now and also from the native app. Now in order to access it you simply have to click on the top right under new and as you can see we have this new feature which is Figma gem file. So let's click on it and as you can see we're going to be redirected directly into FigGem and uh, Pretty much all of the options what uh, you want to have a look at or at the bottom. So as you can see, we can simply click this uh, pencil, which uh, opens up with this nice animation. Uh, we can uh, easily change the colors uh, directly from here. You can also change the stroke size. So from a pencil, it's going to become a marker and so on. If we check out this option right here, you can see that we're going to be able to add different shapes and you can also add the text directly into them. And one of the cool features about FigGem is that you can easily duplicate the shape in any particular direction by simply clicking on this plus icons which open up on the sides of these shapes. So definitely something cool, especially if you're creating wire flows or different type of you know brainstorming. So this is definitely something which is quite interesting. And as you can see, the very next feature is the post-it note, because what would we be doing without a good old post-it note, especially when doing some UX research or brainstorming. So as you can see, I can easily type it in. And let's say that I want a good old yellow post-it note. I can simply click this section right here and change the color. We also have basic uh, formatting uh, such as, you know, we can make this bold, we can add uh, a strike through, we can even add uh, a hyperlink uh, or a bullet list. Uh, and we can also change uh, the font size uh, from being a normal font uh, to maybe a heading or want it to be a big title or a subheading. And uh, this is cool because these are usually the formatting uh, elements which are missing in most uh, um, softwares, uh, they're just like having a, a normal text thing to post it and whatnot. And as you can see, we have this uh, plus icon, which uh, always pretty much populate uh, uh, each and every object and option that we have here in, in uh, FigGem. So definitely something which is uh, pretty cool. And as you can see, everything is pretty straightforward. We can like select elements. And as we select multiple elements, we have uh, uh, different options available. So we can ch change the fill all at once. Uh, and uh, we can also change, uh, you know, things like uh, having the, the lines uh, as uh, dotted lines instead of one single one. And we also have the basic uh, alignment options, which we already saw in uh, Figma in the previous uh, design tutorials. So definitely something which is uh, pretty cool. And as you can see, these uh, connecting lines uh, are actually going to change. And overall, it's just uh, pretty straightforward. It's uh, It feels like using Figma, of course. So it's definitely something which is easy. And the, one of the things which uh, I like the most is these uh, connections, because I remember like trying to create uh, things like this in Figma, but usually it's uh, tricky because you don't really have this uh, interactivity between the connection points. But once you create a connection, you can see that now this element is essentially going to readjust uh, on the go based on the location in the Y and the X axis. So definitely something really cool. But now talking about cool, what are we going to do without some good old uh, um, emojis and components and uh, here they are calling them uh, stickers and components but essentially what they are is elements that you can easily click and select and uh, add to the composition. Now some of them are more fun of course because that's important to have a little bit of fun in life but uh, other ones are a little bit more serious and you can actually go ahead and select uh, 
uh, different elements and components. And I assume that as time goes on, uh, they're good, simply going to add more and more of these. So as you can see, these elements are going to be, for example, these agenda stickers can be quite useful when you're creating a uh, um, brainstorming around the uh, UI, UX. Uh, so, you know, having check boxes uh, and uh, things like that can easily help you mock up a basic uh, um, idea pretty fast. So definitely something worth checking out. And uh, right next to these, uh, we're going to find uh, these uh, stamps, uh, which uh, are essentially, as the name suggested, just stamps that you can, you know, click and add around the canvas. And uh, this is pretty cool overall. Um, you can also add, uh, if you add your, if I had my profile picture on uh, this Figma account, I could actually add it over here. So probably I could associate maybe a stamp or a note uh, to my figure. So that paint is something which is pretty cool. And you can also place uh, and add the images directly from your computer. So very, very cool. I think Figma is definitely heading in the right direction when it comes to FigGem and uh, just a very exciting uh, um, feature that they added or even I would consider it uh, almost a standalone new feature. So definitely something worth checking out. If you haven't already, check out FigGem today and uh, I'll see you in the next video.